Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hopefully the clap was caught and welcome back to yet another tutorial explainer video. So today I'm going to be talking about how I made this thing. So anyways, this is my newest little jam slash song, and we're going to talk about how I made it. So first things first, let's go over the synth noise. This is honestly a pretty simple little synthesizer, it's the... Sorry, I can't really see anything on my screen right now. Let's just lower that a bit. The Paraphonic Strong Poly. No. The Car Plus Strong Poly. It's a nice little synth voice that I found pairs really well with the Rolly. I have it set to sine wave, and it's a nice little gentle little thing. And for the most part, the only part of the rolly that it's really using to modulate is the pressure, which I add to the note, which affects the filter. And since it resets every time I hit a new note, it actually Futz is in a really weird way. I'm not sure how to fix that, but it's very subtle, but it is there. And next we have a clock source over here. 
and we have that going into the mutable marbles, which is then activating a bunch of sort of random modulation sources. We got this right here, which is, what are you called? The Uncertain by the Zor. And this basically takes a bunch of parameters and modulates them according to triggers. It generates a bunch of stuff, as you can see here. And I have some of that controlling these sort of sparkling noises. So this is going to the, what are you? The meta modulator, which I believe is one of Audible Instruments Mutable Instrument clones. And that is going into Joni, which is yet another version of, if I'm not mistaken, Clouds. I believe this is a sort of modified version of clown clouds. And all these parameters are being, you know, sort of randomized via this module right here, and in certain cases being modulized via the... I don't even know what that's called. Brains. Okay, so this is the brains module, and what this does, I don't actually understand what this does. You put stuff in and it modulates it according to each of the inputs and I'm honestly not sure how that works. Which is the story of how I do all of my modular stuff. And as you can see, a lot of these wires not only are going to this, but a lot of them are heading into here. And this is further modulating the drums, but mostly it's modulating the sort of reverbs the drum is attached to. So let me just... Yeah, for some reason, I don't... Okay, this little drum thing called the... Thank you, phone. Trumer is a very, very, very edible, edible, editable drum. All of these parameters do stuff. You can get all sorts of drum noises out of this thing. The problem is that there doesn't seem to be much CV in. This is a drum module with some of the least amount of CV in I've seen. It instead has a lot of CV out. Which as you can see I've used to modulate the reverb. In addition to modulating it with touch o it's c over here now speaking of touch o c that makes a return this is modulating a variety of parameters including the aforementioned joni reverb Actually, no, I'm mistaken. Okay, so, no, this is... Okay, so these top ones are modulating... Wait, have I just... Am I modulating... Oh my gosh, this is... Okay. I'm either sorely confused... Okay, so these top rows are modulating the reverb for the drum. And this row is modulating the Joni for the sort of... For this noise. It's supposed to be modulating that, but since there is already so much modulation going in there from the random sources, that comes out a bit on the... It's a bit more subtle than I would have liked. I would have liked a way to modulate this without... A bit more... How do I say? Hmm... I 
I would like a bit more obvious modulation that I could do to this little crinkly noise that comes in occasionally. And then again, we have these four, which are should be going, if I'm not mistaken, mostly to the marbles. Yeah, all of these are going and modulating different parameters to, well, the random sampler. It's not called marbles in here. And this bottom row, like it was in the previous patch, modulates the jitter, which is sort of the super aggressive, uh, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, I completely forgot what this is called in other programs. It's the sort of make it sound like a human's actually playing. A very drunk, very rhythm death human. Crackling's happening, but yeah. But yeah, that's how I had this patch happen. Just, I, I really don't know how to explain it. It's mostly a bunch of random that I have some vague control over. And what little I control over I have is sort of... Just kind of... Arbitrary? Mostly? That's all I have. That's all I can say. Ah. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's been this patch from scratch thing. I don't really have much of an explanation for this. I shall see you all later. Please like the video, comment, subscribe, check out the links below to get this song if you want it. And yeah, like I said, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.